PSA collector. Do you believe that 2016 Optic is a good investment? I picked up a bit of Durant. Uh, it depends. I mean, if you're if you're a Kevin Durant collector, why not? I, I don't see any harm in it. But 2016 Optic. Are there better options is what I'm trying to say. So you got the aqua, the blues, you got all these hollows and then you got the base. Only 11 have been submitted. So it's going to be hard to tell what they're selling for. So he was, his rookie was 2008. So it's tough to say now I, for the optic. I think the the newer rookies like the Donovan Mitchell, you know, me, Ben Simmons, uh, even Steph Curry and James Harden. And now the LeBron James makes sense because people are talking about how he's, you know, he's up, he's like the top five players of all time. Kevin Durant, I think could easily enter that conversation as well, though. So how, so I, what, what I would do is say, ask myself, okay, well, how much are, how much are the LeBron James optics base selling for LeBron James? Let's check those out. Compare them to him because he's 2003 rookie. He's a lot earlier than Durant. However, KD is, so 142 for a PSA 10. LeBron James, that's recent. Let's go down and check the graph. Oh, you got to click. You got to make sure to click these one of the numbers up here. Oh, see it kind of. Oh, now they were selling for 1250. So this guy, you guys, this is like before the boom. This is irrelevant, kind of. You got to pay attention to the spike and then afterwards. So 270, 280, 406, 255, up and down, up and down. And I don't know what that was. That's probably a mistake. Up and down, up and down, and then slow decline. I think this is when people sort of realize, ah, there might be better options out there. But you never know, guys. This this right here, this graph could easily be this down here. You know, you gotta remember that that this see how low this is? Well, this could easily, you know, take swap and be the new the new bottom, the new support. So two hundred dollars might be cheap. You never know. I I I just I'll ask myself, are there better options? And do I really, really like this card? Do I really like the card? Do I really have faith in the, the card? I just think you have better long-term investment potential with rookie cards that are closer to 2016, I think, long-term potential. But I would definitely focus on the 2008, from 2008 to 2009, and uh, maybe some 10, 11, 12, and then th 13, obviously 12 and 13 are select and prism. Go for those first, for sure. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. So Kevin Durant, uh, I would go for the 2013 select or 2012 select, I'm sorry, 2012 select. Yes, this card, I think, has great long-term potential because it's 2012, very first year of select, and the, the print run was significantly lower on these cards. So go for the 2012 stuff, okay, first. And let's see what this is. Let's see what's happening right now with the market. 48 total Kevin Durant's, only seven PSA 10s. So let's go ahead and check out the APR. Very low population so far. And these are base cards, guys, base cards. I'm, I'm, so it's a 200, this was August. 2020, only one has sold. Only one has sold. PSA 9 at 52. Not bad. I would definitely focus on the Prisms first, though. I mean, I've been buying the James Harden 2012 Select, like left and right. Whenever I have an extra 10, 15 bucks to spend, I'll go ahead and pick up some first year James Harden Select. The Prism is already out of, out of this world expensive. Uh, PSA 10 just sold for over 300, I think, for Harden. Let's see uh, LeBron James. Just type in LeBron. So LeBron James has said only 164 base has been submitted. 60 PSA 10s. Let's see where the market is going on his stuff. So you guys got to remember, back in 2012, the, the hobby was nowhere near what it is right now. Panini, I think that they were still experimenting. They didn't know that the hobby was going to explode, so they weren't printing as many cards in 2012. Okay, so they're going to be significantly more rare than I think 2016 ish is when they started printing more and more. Okay, that's when the hobby started blowing up the optic, uh, the optic. Yeah, when the optic came out and they started printing more. Uh, a lot of guys came back into the hobby, including myself heavily because of the optic set. However, like I said, 
get, get focus on the hollows and the silvers. I would much rather pay thirty dollars for one silver than thirty dollars for like six base cards. You know what I mean? It makes more sense to just to save up and spend that money on a, on the silver, the hollow, because those are more attractive and have much better long term potential. I think. So if that's if you guys want to, you know, uh, uh, be, make that your strategy for the later years. Get to save up, get the silvers. Um, and if you want to get the first year out of select and prism, I think that's okay. For, I think the base is okay. So twenty one dollars. These are PSA tens, guys. LeBron James PSA ten, two thousand twelve select, thirteen dollars in two thousand nineteen, twenty one dollars, and then March twenty twenty. 185 355 boom 700 spike correct correction and then there's a new support 300 300 ish we're trying to find a new resistance you know it could break 500 i i think maybe 400 is going to be the new support between the 370 and 485 but i think the popularity of the first year select and first year prism first year prism is going to be more popular just because people are freaks about the prism set for some reason I'm a freak about the select set. I like to select better, uh, but either or works. And then forget about the silvers. I mean, you want to see the silvers? Let's see. Let's see where the silvers are at. These are like, here we go, LeBron James. You got 12 so far. Nines. Wow, look at the nines are selling for. This isn't accurate. There's no way that sold for $300. What? Oh, in February of 2020. Okay, yeah. That's... But look at what the nines are selling for in October. 1,153. So you can see how cheap they were. Uh, the tens. Imagine what a ten sells for now. This was February of 2020. Beginning of the year. People weren't paying attention to this stuff. They were more focused on his rookie cards. And then we saw what happened to his rookie cards. They took off, but people started looking at other options. And they realized the 2012 select first year, he's in his uh, Miami Heat uniform. People don't care. It's first year LeBron. I think first year select and Prism Silvers are going to be like the Topps Chrome is today. Uh, you, you can find Kobe and Shaq, but you can't find Jordan, uh, which is a question on if... You know, those Hall of Fame players, Shaq and Kobe, I think Larry Bird, are the Silvers, are they going to be, you know, popular in the future? Are people going to want to collect those and compete over those? Simply because of the population and how rare they are? I think so, guys. I mean, check out the pop reports. I, I, and I can't, I know it's probably annoying how often I say it. I annoy myself and how often I tell. I speak the words, check the pop reports, <laughs> but look at these prisms. Okay. The pop report on the prisms, Steph Curry, only 31 have been submitted so far. Only 31 in a matter of nine years, only in a matter of nine years, only 31 have been submitted. I, I understand that the, these are recently, you know, blowing up in popularity, but still 31 is so low. Like that's incredibly low. These prisms. I actually just bought a James Harden. Prism for $100, first year select. Now that I think about it, 113 out the door with shipping. He had listed it um, right as I was like looking at this set for $100 and boom, I bought it. And I'm, you know, I'm not regretting it because it looks at least a mint nine. The good, good centering. It's in a mag loader. Very good centering, actually. The edges look a little sketchy, but it, sharp corners. I'm thinking it's going to be a mint nine James Harden first year select hollow for a hundred bucks. I think it's a good deal, guys. Looking at the pop reports, they're tough to find. The Kobe's at 49 so far. Only 49 have been submitted. 14 tens, 39s. LeBron James only at he's at 68. Very very hard to find. These are tough. Now let's look at the prisms real quick while I'm thinking about it. 2012. And also, guys, 2013, I think are good. Good, it's a good year as well because the, the population reports are going to be low, guys. These refractors, look at how hard it is to find 96 top chrome refractors now. And today's with the with the hobby the way it is, if you go on and you search 1996 top chrome refractor for a certain player, chances are you'll find one, maybe two. They're very tough to find. You would think that guys are selling them, right? 
because they're, uh, they're they're very popular right now. But it's not the case. They're, I mean, they're not selling them because they're so rare. I think much rarer than you think. That's my point. And those are the go-to cards. Those are the cards people want in their collection: the refractors, the hollows, the silvers. And this is something that I'm learning as well. Like I'm coming to realize, wow, they were incredibly rare. Okay, where are we at? Panini Prism. Let's go ahead and type in Prism. Let's filter out. So LeBron James. Oh, they they have a green Prism and a base Prism. Okay. How many other Prism? There's a gold as well. Gold, green, and base so far. So that's good. Not, I don't like how they do it now. They have a thousand different colors. That's why I'm, you know, I'm convinced that just get the base. That's the, the biggest value, biggest return on investment is the base prisms. Cause that's what everybody wants. Not these green gold, maybe the gold because it's probably serial numbered out of 10, but if they're not serial numbered, I don't even really consider them. It's tough though. So LeBron James base prism, only 58 have been submitted so far. So same thing with Panini Prism. Very, very, tough let's see what they're selling for more holy eleven thousand two hundred dollars for a nine that can't be right so this is september one sold for and that's gotta be in that's definitely not a prism that's a base that's why no okay psa they, they screwed all these up these aren't prisms that's not a prism that's a base what is it what's going on here okay here's an actual prism mint nine auction October 2020, $11,200. Dang. Is that real? That's crazy if that's real. Yeah, I'm glad I bought that hard for a hundred bucks for the select. I didn't know that they were that high. Pretty new prism. 2012 Panini prism. Uh, let's just go ahead and do silver. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm just gonna look at some football, see what we got. Ah. Bunch of random people, random players. Uh, let's, you know what? I just want to look at this. Let's see what the Drew Brees is at right now. All taken. So, all right, let's go back to basketball. <laughs> let's see. Uh, uh, Harden. Let's see if we got any Harden. Ooh, there's the Harden. Thousand bucks. Two. Nope, oh, one left. How many watchers? It was like 17 watchers. Dang, dude, $1,000? That's more than some, most of his rookie cards, which doesn't make sense. I don't know why people would want the, this over his rookie cards. I mean, it is his first year of Panini Prism. Ooh, Kobe Bryant, let's check him out. That's always a good. $5,000. Look at this, 2017. Well, that's base. Maybe that's a prism. Maybe. Hard to tell. This one definitely looks like a prism. $327. And the PSA 10, $5,000. Holy cow. That's... In, in, in the traditional hobby, sports card hobby, that, that does not make sense. <laughs> it does not make any sense at all. Like how sports cards, how sports cards used to be. And I, I tell you guys, I tell you guys, I tell you what, like when I started doing PSA collector videos, I would have all these old timer guys commenting on my video, telling me that, you know, second year cards aren't, aren't worth shit. Like <laughs> they're like talking about how I'm wasting my money. And, uh, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. And they're, they're talking, they're, they would make all kinds of comments. And it, it, look, now I'm looking, I'm like, I part of me kind of listened to them, but the other part of me, the bigger part was just like kept doing my own thing. And I, I just imagine what they're thinking to themselves now. Like if they come back, if they come back through and see all this, all, like look all the, the, these 2012 Panini Prism Silvers, who would have thought Kobe Bryant 10 was be $5,000. Nobody, nobody could have predicted that. So there you go, guys. That's the uh, Panini Prism Silver stuff. Definitely keep your eyes out for those.